While pandemonium on the streets of El Dorado Park earlier today, police fired stun grenades and rubber bullets to disperse protesting residents. They're calling for the overhaul of the SAPS in the area after a 16-year-old boy was shot and killed allegedly by officers. Our reporter Avviwe Mtila and producer Brendan Hendricks following the story for us. Let's go live to Avviwe Mtila first. Avviwe, we saw the community safety MEC arriving on the scene. Take us through what's happening. Yes. So, Nishohan, I am with the MEC of Community and Safety, uh, Faith Mabezubuko. Mama, thank you for joining us at ENCA. Um, but, of course, this is about the killing of a 16-year-old child at the hands, allegedly, of the South African police. Surely that says a lot about the safety uh, of the community from police. Uh, indeed, as the Gauteng Provincial Government, we are saddened uh, by that incident uh, that uh, allegedly happened uh, yesterday. Although we got to know about it uh, this morning, as the Houghton Provincial Government, we also uh, send our condolences to the family. And uh, the incidences that have happened, we totally condemn uh, any use of uh, violence, irrespective who was shooting at who, and wish to call for calm from members of uh, the community and elders, so that then we don't end up with many cases of people uh, also now ending up being injured or people uh, having been thrown with bricks because already there are three police officers at the station that were hit with bricks when they were uh, uh, hitting the station with, 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 with bricks. So we wish to call for calm and hoping and allow IPIT to investigate the matter. Already they've removed the docket from the station. They are investigating it at provincial level. So let's give them space and we'll be able to come back and report back to the, to the community what has happened. Really, really, we send our condolences to the family, but over and above, requesting for calm from our community members. Let me see, you've just been from the police station now. What are they saying about the, the policeman who allegedly shot uh, the 16-year-old who had down, uh, down syndrome? Well, as I indicated, the matter is under investigation by IP, so it's them that will, that will pull the file and be able to, 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 utilize, to, to investigate the matter. What I'm hearing there from the MEC that the matter is going to be investigated. We do understand uh, the MEC is about to address uh, the community of El Dorado Park now following the, um, the chaotic scenes that we've seen today uh, after that death of that 16-year-old. Um, we understand eight people uh, were in custody, well, currently are still in custody of the police, but uh, we've been told that uh, they might be released uh, and, in fact, uh, on 200 rand bail so that to at least bring calm to the community. The community members said that they won't rest until those eight people uh, have been released, but I'm sure the MEC is going to provide light in terms of, MEC, what are you going to tell the people here? No, it's just to call for calm and reassure them that uh, police will be releasing those that have been arrested. And, and in terms of uh, the police corruption yeah. in El Dorado no, Park, ma'am, let me see, just yeah, the, the, corru the corruption, because they're saying that th this is, has to do with the corruption right from the top to the bottom. Well, on matters of corruption, they get investigated by other uh, uh, agencies. As the Department of Community Safety, unfortunately, is one of the things that we can't do. So you heard that, uh, Shahan, that those uh, eight people that are arrested, they will be uh, released here. You heard it from the MEC, the eight that have been arrested uh, during the course of the day. And in fact, the MEC will be addressing um, the residents of El Dorado Park. You can see them just standing uh, just a bit far back. I can tell you the majority are youth uh, here. You can see the leaders in front, but the majority of the people behind them are youth who have been throwing the stones all day, uh, protesting essentially for the death of that 16-year-old uh, who was killed uh, allegedly by the police. 16-year-old who had down, uh, Rome, uh, down syndrome, basically. But they say that only sparked the, the issues of El Dorado Park with the police, saying that the rot is right from the up top to the bottom, and essentially they want um, a change in the police station.